Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Cubing Bear, and today we're doing an unboxing on the MF3RS2 M, the Supernova version, and and we're also gonna be doing an unboxing of this amazing uh, jack o' lantern lube that we're gonna get. Um, I got it on the very last day. It's November second right now, so they are no longer selling this lube, so you cannot get any more. You have to wait until next year to get it, but. This is a cosmic lube from Speedcube Shop, and it looks really cool. I want to smell it, like badly. But let's have a nice Speedcube Shop little um, logo right there. Looks pretty good, and uh, yeah, it looks amazing. Supernova MF3RS2M. I've actually heard a lot of great things about the MF3RS2M, um, but I haven't really um, been able to sort of experiment with what I wanted to do with it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox this right now. So I'm really excited for this because this is my first and only Speed Cube Shop um, sort of. Um, this is going to be my only, my first and my only Supernova Cube, and it's going to be really exciting to this cube. And uh, I will say that the shades look quite nice. I'm glad that I got this in stickerless. But uh, yeah, let's. Open it. I may have to actually need help. Go away. Okay. So this is supposed to be a magnetic. So this is supposed to be a magnetic MFDRS 2M. I do not know how this is gonna feel. I do not know how it's going to turn. I have to say I'm quite skeptical right now. But let's get it first turn. Huh, so yeah, um, first thing I could say about this cube is that it it's kind of gummy, and what I mean by that is that it feels kind of a little bit sluggish. It doesn't feel all that, um, how should I say this? It doesn't feel all that great in a sort of sense, um, and I don't mean to say that this is a bad cube. This is not a bad cube at all. It's, um, it's it just feels sluggish to me. And that could be because it has supernova treatment. I would expect this also from a GAN. But I gotta say that these magnets actually feel stronger than my... I actually feel like this cube is getting faster the more I turn it, but... This is a 56, this is actually a 56 millimeter puzzle and because of that, it's a little bit bigger than my GAN 354M, so I'm having a little bit of trouble getting used to the size of a standard 56 millimeter puzzle. Um, but the more that I'm turning it right now, you guys can hear that the more I'm turning it and the more I'm actually um, being able to um, sort of feel the puzzle and actually get to feel like what it's actually like. This puzzle feels amazing. Um, definitely well set up. I have no real complaints on it. It just feels a little bit slow. Yeah, everything is flowing really well, and the magnet strength is actually quite well. I do enjoy this this feeling, but something that is very interesting is that this cube is actually less, much less than the GAN 354M, and it is my main. That's kind of the reason why I wanted to get this cube, because I've seen many videos of um, people getting these cheap 3x3s that are becoming almost as good as flagship 3x3s. And I wanted to go ahead and test it out for myself and see just how well a setup magnetic budget cube can be. 
I've already stated that in my MGC video and my Yushin Little Magic that if the Yushin Little Magic had magnets in it, it would have been better than the MGC. And right now I'm testing this out and I gotta say that this is a very good contender. This actually, well, I don't know. I want it, I think it could be my main, but I'm gonna have to do a lot more tests for the review. I'll also be doing a comparison between the GAN and the MF3RS. If you guys wanna see a video on that, hit that like button. Overall, I think this is a very good, this is a very good cube in my opinion. I would definitely recommend it. This was only $20 for me on the speakershop.com. You can get a Supernova MF3RS 2M for only $20. And that's with that setup and magnetization. This only came as it was without setup. This was with no setup at all, but it still turns amazing. I'll have to see just how good this cube can actually handle against a flagship cube like a GAN puzzle. But overall my impression is that this is a very good cube. It's fast, I like it. Definitely would recommend it and I hope that you guys will get one too because honestly this is a good cube. I'm not lying here. It's a very good cube. If you guys like this video, be sure to go ahead and give it a like. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you guys want me to do a review on this and the Jekyll and Tulu at the same time, I'll definitely be doing a comparison between this and the MF3RS. It's definitely going to be an anticipated video coming soon. But yeah, that is about it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Peace out, guys.